Cupcakes. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this Galaxy Halloween makeup tutorial. And you guys gave me so much love when I painted my face blue for that mermaid makeup tutorial. So I thought to do it again and paint my face and did this Galaxy look for you guys. And other than that, enjoy the video. First thing that I'm going to do is paint my face white, which is kind of unusual because I'm painting the galaxy, which you would think I would paint my face like a dark colour, but I'm going to go with white, and you'll see why later on, and I'm just going to be spraying this with water, and I'm going to be using a damp sponge to apply this white all over my face. The second layer goes on a lot smoother, and you don't want to sweep the sponge, you definitely want to tap it, because if you sweep it, it goes... You see, it kind of just wipes off the product. And I'm not going to be painting my ears or my neck because, to be honest, who wants to do that? So I'm just going to be painting my face. Okay, it's time to get this party started. Okay, I've realised after painting this face that your white face paint doesn't have to be even at all. It can be as patchy as you want because we're going to cover up most of it anyway. Just as long as you've got a white base on there, then that would be great. I'm first going to be taking my Sugar Pearl eyeshadow in Dolly Pop, which is this bright pink colour, and a stippling brush. Okay, I'm going to first start contouring the jawline. I'm contouring the cheekbones now. Okay, so this face paint is obviously cracking on my face, but that's okay guys, it's all going to look fine in the end because that will be hidden by the rest of the makeup. But we're applying this as a contour blush, so just blend that up towards the cheek as well, from the cheekbones. And you don't have to be super precise with this at all. And you want to blend that into your temples, blending it into the centre of the forehead, but keeping the centre of the forehead white. This doesn't have to be blended too, too, too much. Yeah, no, it looks terrible right now, but it will work out in the end. I'm then going to be taking Velocity Eyeshadow, which is this royal blue with a smaller brush, and I'm going to be contouring the cheeks even more and deepening up that contour. So just go over where you've been with the pink. At first, you're going to start to look like Katy Perry from E.T., her music video. And when I was doing this side of the face, I was thinking, oh god, this is looking too much like Katy Perry from E.T., but it won't in the end. And you want to go right into the hairline with this. Now I'm going to be taking the yellow butter cupcake. And I'm just going to be dotting that on random places of the face. It doesn't have to be symmetrical to this side because... Galaxy, it's random, isn't it? And with the orange, which is called Flame Point, I'm just going to be applying that right beside wherever we put the yellow. Just so that it transitions a little bit better between each colour. I'm going to contour the nose with 2AM, which is a purple, and using a Real Techniques angled brush, and plotting out my nose contour from the side of the nostrils as well, apply this colour, and blend the nose contour out with the orange and the yellow. You want to drag the yellow right into the inner corner of the eye like this. Okay, so now onto the fun, but I'm kind of dreading this part. It's the messy part as well. I'm going to be taking black Snazaroo face paint and spraying that with water. You can take two toothbrushes or two of these eyebrow brushes and you want to get the face paint onto the brush and you want to start splashing that onto your face, just like this. So my t-shirt is going to be speckled with black and white face paint, but that's okay. Don't wear white if you're going to recreate this look. Okay. And to get a more concentrated colour, just go closer onto the face and spray. So, because you want some parts of the face to have darker areas. Because this is sort of serving as a background colour for the white. So that will make the white stars a lot more vibrant once we put those on. Clean off your fingers and take another brush, wet your white face paint thoroughly, very thoroughly, and just spray. 
this will create those stars effect without actually doing every single dot on your face. How hard would that be? How like time consuming would that be? Nobody's got time for that. So this is a much, much easier approach, even though it is very messy. <laughs> Again, I'm going to do some spots closer to the face to make them look brighter and whiter. It's time for the eyes, time for the eyes. Let's do this, okay. I'm taking 2AM again and I'm going to be filling in half of my eyebrow with this colour. And I'm going to be taking Velocity the Royal Blue and applying that onto the outer half of the brow, just for some dimension. I'm just going to be using one brush for all of the eyeshadow work and I'm going to be taking Dolly Pop and taking that into the crease. You don't want to be super precise with this, you want everything to be super blended around the eye area. Taking Poison Plum a little bit from Sugar Pill again and I'm deepening up the crease with this. Wiping off the brush on a towel, I'm going to be taking Flame Point and apply that to the lower lash line, just halfway through. And I'm going to be taking the yellow again and apply that just under that. I'm going to be taking my NYC liquid liner and line the eyes. It's so weird how I experiment with half of my face. <laughs> for ages, like an hour, an hour and a half. But now that I've got this face done, this face was just a lot easier and quicker to do. I'm like blitzing through this, to be honest. I'm going to be taking Ella Masca Pure Pigment in Static, which is this white pigment with pink and purple duochrome, and this is gonna be perfect for this look, obviously. And I'm applying that to the brow bone area, and also apply that on top of the liner to soften that out into the inner corner of the eye and I'm also going to be dusting that all over the face to give the face a shine because stars obviously shine. I'm going to be using my Barry M Bud like eyeliner into the waterline and for mascara I'm going to be using my 17 Falsify HD mascara. Obviously if you're a gentleman and you don't want to do the eye makeup feel free to leave this part out and if you are anyone that just wants to make a statement with the face, don't do the eye makeup if you think it's too complicated. And I'm going to be applying these spiky lashes. I'm also going to be creating some more stars just with the white face paint and I'm creating a cross to replicate the look of stars shining. Okay, for the lips, shall we make it into like a black hole? I'm going to apply some black face paint onto the centre of the lips. I'm taking Control Lipstick by Ella Masca. You can use the eyeshadow from before though. And I'm just patting that outside of the black. Applying Stella Pigment on top of that. This lip doesn't have to be perfect at all as well. And if you want, just spray some of the stars onto the lips as well. So this is the final look, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And you can also rock a wig with this look, and I am wearing the Sarah. And this is from bobbypins.com. You can save 15% off by using the coupon code Prince of Vanity 15 That's Prince of Vanity 15 on bobbypins.com, and they've got a range of amazing wigs. This is not a Halloween wig. This is a high-quality wig, so if you want good-quality wigs for Halloween, then definitely go for bobbypins.com. They are amazing, thick and full, and I would highly, highly recommend them. I love this silver colour so much. My contact lenses are from camoeyes.com. The left ones are the aqua ones, and the right ones are the grey ones, and I love them, so check out camoeyes.com as well. And this has been Margaret Panta, the Prince of Annecy. Please give this video a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy this video, and thank you guys so much for all the support. I can't thank you guys enough, and comment down below of your thoughts of this makeup, and other than that, subscribe. God damn it. Bye bye, guys.